Cheating in trivia games has a bad reputation. Charles Mandoran destroyed faith in the game show format in the 50s, and Michael Larson broke pressure luck, and Andy Watkins brought shame to Harvard. And even in 2022, people are finding other ways to use computers to cheat in competitive events. During the corona pandemic, many trivia competitions had to move online, and one side effect of that shift was there was, again, a raft of people cheating. A question got asked online, and people quickly crafted a Google search to find the answer. Now, we don't condemn cheating, but we got to thinking, could we sublimit this bad behavior and turn it into something productive? Computers' first step in question answering is often search for information, say, retrieve a set of relevant documents from a large corpus. And that looks a lot like what happened in these online competitions, which we will playfully call for the purposes of this talk, the cheater's ball. The questions we hope to answer in this talk are A. How do computers and human strategies differ? And B. Who is better? Let's meet our computer contestants. We have two models that find the answer by creating text-based queries. We select the state-of-the-art multi-hop QA models, the golden retriever, and the IRRR model. Our human contestants were trivia contestants recruited from an online quiz book tournament. Quizbo is a trivia game where contestants try to answer questions, but the questions can be interrupted. Because of this quirk, the clues in these questions are written to go from hard to easy, so that the contestants who know more, or in our case, can dredge up the information faster, can get the answer first. Here is our interface for playing Cheater's Ball. The interface showed them a single clue from either Quizbo or Hot Pot QA. To start searching, the contestants either type their own queries in the search box or click on the model suggested query from IRRR or Golden Retriever. The search engine returns results retrieved from a corpus of Wikipedia pages by two different search engines, BM25 implemented using dyslexic search and dense passage retrieval. After the contestants get their results, contestants can click on them to see the relevant Wikipedia page. They can highlight text recorded as evidence if it provides helpful information, or submit it as an answer. Alternatively, contestants can answer the question with their own answers, if they are just that smart, or give the answer suggested by IRRR or Golden Retriever. But to encourage contestants to show their work, give them more, more points if they crafted a search to get to the answer. Contestants can skip a question or ask the system to reveal another clue if it's too hard. Let's see a question answering example of this work. Here's the first clue of a question. A human contestant creates the initial query Millennium 73 and retrieves a set of Wikipedia pages. They open the page Millennium 73 and manually record it, a paragraph as evidence. They continue this iterated process of querying and obtaining evidence until they answer the question with India, which is the correct answer. Our human contestants were better than our computer contestants. 56% of the quiz bowl questions are correctly answered by players, while only 44 are correctly answered by IRRR. But those humans are using computers to cheat. Can computers improve based on how humans answer? If we replace the computer's first query with a human one, IRRR jumps from 44% to 50%, unlocking reasoning path that makes previously unanswerable questions answerable within three steps, suggesting that the models can benefit from human insights. So at least for these quizable questions, humans are different, and by some measures better. Let's take a look at how they are different and what that might tell us about the future of computer question answering. Humans use fewer but more effective keywords. Human queries are substantially shorter than computer queries, focus on proper nouns and short phrases, and tend to select the most specialized terms. For example, the entity most likely to have a comprehensive Wikipedia page, which requires world knowledge. In contrast to humans' desire for precision, a direct hit with two to three search results Models prefer recall with as many keywords as possible, hoping that it retrieves something useful, since it does not mind reading through a dozen of search results. This difference might also help explain our survey results. 
Although most players understand why QE models the query the way they do and agree that the queries retrieve helpful results, players question their utility. So our takeaway here is that the future model should select better keywords and retrieve more focused results. Human use world knowledge to narrow search results. Unlike computers, human use words that are not in the questions or in evidence for queries to narrow the search scope, and sometimes they even directly query the answer or include shortcuts to the answer. In this example, the contestant's first query is derived from the question but adds auxiliary, recognizing that treating a compound may set an auxiliary in the reaction. So our takeaway here is that Future models should also incorporate common sense or world knowledge like human by adding words or terms to queries instead of only using substrings from questions and previous evidence as queries. Other methods for incorporating common sense and world knowledge including accessing an external knowledge base and reasoning over knowledge graphs. Dynamic Query Refinement